This week's episode of the Android Apps Weekly Show is brought to you by Jump and Roll Eyeball. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy, and welcome back to Android Apps Weekly. This is episode number 114, so let's get started. Facebook has mandated that many of their employees must switch to using Android devices over their iPhones. The idea behind the switch is so more of them understand what the Android experience is like. Here's hoping their batteries die as quickly as ours do when using the Facebook app and the application itself gets some much needed improvements. Scott Games has announced that there will be another Five Nights at Freddy's game except for this one will be an RPG. A trailer has been put out but otherwise not a lot of details are available right now. There's no time frame on release yet but there will be a free demo to play eventually. It'll be called Five Nights at Freddy's. Freddy's World. In a surprising move, Activision has purchased King, developers of Candy Crush Saga, for $5.9 billion. We're not entirely sure why, but this gives Activision a gigantic mobile presence that it did not previously have. For now, everything's going to stay the same, but expect to see some stuff next year as a result of this. The latest Humble Bundle is now live. It currently includes six games with a seventh coming soon. Some of the games include Wise Chronicle 1, Block Legends, Rocket Robo, and a whole lot more. You can pay $1 and get three games, or pay the average and get everything at once, give it a shot, and don't forget to give to charity. Last up this week, Microsoft made a lot of people angry with some unsavory changes to their OneDrive policies. Free storage has been dropped to 5 gigabytes as opposed to 15 gigabytes, and unlimited storage is gone entirely. This is due to people backing up their entire pirated movie collections, and it was using way too much space. For even more Android apps and games news, updates, and new releases, don't forget to check out this week's newsletter, which is linked in the video description below. There we'll have all the extra stuff we didn't have time for this week. If you would like, you can sign up with your email address in the written companion, which is also linked in the video description below, and we'll send that newsletter to your inbox every single week. Okay, folks, let's take a look at the apps and games that made a big splash this week. As usual, if you want to check any of these apps or games out, we'll have those links for you in the video description below. First up this week is Custom Quick Settings. This is an application for Marshmallow users that allows you to create custom tiles in your Quick Settings menu. One of the lesser documented features of Marshmallow is the ability to do exactly this, and the developer has put together this nifty application to make it easier for everyone. It's free to download, and it does not require root. A long time ago, Dead Effect was one of the most popular first-person shooters on Android, and now its successor has arrived on the Google Play Store. It's a sci-fi post-apocalyptic shooter complete with horrific beasts, zombie-type monsters, and and plenty of things for you to shoot and kill. The graphics are pretty good and the mechanics seem to be solid for a touchscreen shooter. It's free to download with in-app purchases, but just be careful of those early bugs. Oh boy, here we go again. Apple has released their second application to the Google Play Store and this one is called Beats Pill Plus. It's a simple application that can be used by Android owners to control their Beats Pill speakers. Like the last Apple application, it seems to work pretty well and do its job, but the Android community's loudest members wanted to let Apple have it yet again. For what it's worth, the application is free. The long-awaited companion application from Bethesda called Fallout Pip-Boy has been released to the Google Play Store. In a show of good sportsmanship, the company released the application to everyone, even if you didn't pick up the optional armband. The application itself lets you interact with your Fallout 4 game and check out stuff like stats, inventory, maps, radio, and there are even some mini-games. It's free, and if you're getting Fallout 4, you should definitely also get this. Last and certainly not least this week is Signal. This application gained quite the following after Edward Snowden put his official endorsement into to the application. It's a messaging app with a plethora of security and encryption features to help keep prying eyes away from your messages. It's completely open source, which is good, and includes group chatting, phone calls, and more. If you want security, give this one a shot. This week's episode of the Android Apps Weekly Show is brought to you by Jump and Roll Eyeball. This is a 2D side-scrolling platformer where you play as a giant eye with legs. Your goal is to maneuver obstacles and avoid danger in order to complete the levels. The gameplay is simple to learn but challenging to master and you'll be both jumping and rolling a whole bunch. Despite its simple look, the game can be quite difficult at times. It also comes with Google Play Games leaderboard so you can keep track of who has done it the best. It's a great little time waster and it's free to download with a single $1.99 in-app purchase to remove ads. Give it a shot and show your support for the Android Apps Weekly Show. Once again, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy. While you're here, why not subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel? If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there, and they're also linked in the video description below for you folks on mobile. Finally, don't forget to check out the written companion which is in the video description below and don't forget to sign up for that newsletter as always thanks for watching everybody and have a wonderful day